news on teen trauma now a study finds half of all teenagers seen in hospital er's reported they were victims of violence or cyberbullying. these statistics really hitting home for one family on long island new york laura engel live with their terrible story laura it is indeed john and you know many teens who have been bullied in person or online will tell you the experience can be a very scary one and now new research shows an increasing number of teens are actually starting to show symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder the new study by hasbro children's hospital in providence rhode island looked at more than 350 teens treated for any reason in the hospital's emergency rooms it found that half the teens reported that they had been involved in cyberbullying and 25% had symptoms of PTSD. Researchers say the findings are surprising. I was incredibly shocked. So most of the studies that are out there say that prevalence of cyberbullying is somewhere around 15% of teens. So if you look at teens in a regular high school, it's around 15%. So I was shocked to see that it was almost 50%. Now, someone who has experienced severe cyberbullying is singer Jenna Rose. She's only 10 years old in this YouTube video entitled My Jeans. And despite garnering 15 million views and becoming a fast success, she was cruelly taunted online and her Twitter account was hacked. I get scared to even post pictures of myself sometimes because I think to myself, what if people comment that I'm ugly? What if people comment that I'm fat? And because it's happened before. Um, but... I think that people don't realize these long-lasting effects. And researchers say if teens who have been cyberbullied and suffer from PTSD don't receive treatment, it can lead to depression, poor physical health, even drug and alcohol abuse, and risky behaviors. John, Heather? Well, scary stuff. Yeah. Laura Engel, thank you. Thank you.